Summit. Let's talk about Summit. Summit also, always on the first day, they have a media day where they take pictures of you. They get you in skits and stuff like that. A lot of the guys weren't in any skits, <laughs> which made them kind of upset. Meister was in three. Dude, there are two people Summit will always use in skits. Meister and DeBuzz. Every chance they get. And then I got asked to be in a skit, which as we know, turned out to be the best skit of Summit. This took uh, three and a half hours to film. Shades of Brown over Coney sketch. We'll talk about that in a second, you child. Oh, this is so annoying. There were, like, so many takes of this, by the way. Of this exact... Like, we were in here for three and a half hours. I was so hot. Oh, they, uh... Also, they didn't know what character to use for this. They are like, we need a character that uh, really pisses people off online. I was like, Robin, Ness? No, no, no. It has to be a bad character. That's the whole point of the sketch. Robin is perfectly within, like, the... Shitty offline, but like big ego online. We offer top of the line emotional support. You listen to me. You're handsome and talented, and no one can ever take that away from you. How did they time Military this footage? Grade combat strategies. Camp him. You understand me? Literally never. Chat backseating. <laughs> Content backseat. Outside your bedroom door. Robin's we the right call. Your back. All right, where is he? Where's who? What are you talking about? I, how did he said? You wanted to beat him. Wait. How did he... Ah, spliced audio. Aha. Look. Look, my mouth isn't moving here. See? Mmm, a little bit of movie magic for you. Where are so many takes of this, dude? They could put out six different versions of this sketch. Let's do this. What is that a gun? We're not doing anything. Yeah. We're not going to do anything. too good for too long. This shit was hilarious. He delivered this line like 50 times. And every time, they're like, all right, Meister, say it with a little bit more compassion. Because Meister would come in and be like, all right, this bastard's had it too good for too long. And they're like, that was really good. Come in like that, but say it like a like an action hero. Say it like with a lot of conviction, like you're going to kill someone. And he said, okay, got it, got it. And he comes back in. Okay, this bastard's had it too good for too long. Let's, let's amp it up action movie style, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, yeah, 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 I get it. Okay, this bastard's had it too good for too long. Great. Cut. Cut. We're done. We're done. That's it. He did fine. He did great. Meister is not in these skits to act. Meister is in this skit to smile. This shit? I didn't want any of this. Oh, then you gotta say it. This took like 20 minutes. <laughs> Him and I got so close. We were very close. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were very close indeed. Yeah. Mar like, they got this at every angle. Where Mars got close to me, and then they flipped the camera, and I got close to Mars. But we were cracking up at this specific line forever. Let's go. <coughs> Loser. <laughs> Why does he make that face? <laughs> this is my favorite Meister face. This is why we put Meister in every skit. Troll face. <laughs> As my fucking guy. Uh, other skits include... This one. If you don't know this skit, Shades of Brown, they were pitching all the ideas to us, all the sketches and stuff like that. They pitched this idea, and they said, "The Buzz is a 1940s hard-boiled noir private eye detective." Done. Fucking done. I'm sold. The Buzz could do. I, I. I'm locked in. But they didn't tell us what the case was. But the case is about who clogged the summit toilet. It's all poop jokes. I was like, uh, but I said, you know what? Let's try to think of something else. And then we couldn't. <laughs> Good skit. All the acting was there. Um, <laughs> who came up with Dark Tweak? Summit. <laughs> I thought when I read Dark Tweak, I thought it was like a femme fatale, you know, like a red haired beauty. And I was like, are you going to dress Tweak up, like, with a wig and stuff? No, that was never the intention. But when I heard it, I thought that's what it was. Because I was like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a 40s noir thing. You know, she walked in like, blah, 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 blah. It's like the, it's the sexy lady thing. And then they were like, no, why did you think we meant that? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I want this to be a recurring thing. If DeBuzz is in the next summits, I want, I want Inspector DeBuzz on all of them. Is EE -E still banned? Wait. Can I show him on my stream? He's banned for a week. No way, right? No way, right? 
No, guy, he'll be back in a week. It's fine. It's fine, I think. Why did EE -E get banned? I actually don't know. But I will tell you that the night before, we were up in the hotel room at like 2.30 a.m., and they got a noise complaint, and uh, we're being loud as hell in our room, which was 3.03, and people called up to 3.01 saying, please keep it down and and cool it with the racial slurs. Uh, what the fuck were you saying, Coney? That would have been a different room if I was the one. To <laughs> I let out a couple, but under my breath, so nobody could hear them. <laughs> I think that's why he got banned because if you watch that after stream he was letting it rip we were in the hotel room and he was like what the fuck I'm banned and we thought it, we, he was kidding he's like no I'm serious I'm banned and he was working a G4 thing the next day and they wouldn't let him do it because he was banned twitch took away the bag that's so sad didn't EE -E tweet their TK tweet the clip let me see if I can find it am I allowed to watch it <laughs> I uh, in this clip uh, professional caster EE -E, and professional top player Nakat try to persuade noted caster Charles to say the N word. To his credit, Charles does not do it. You can guess what they're saying. The, the picture is worth a thousand words. Watch Charles' face. You, he does not say it. He does not say it. Don't worry. But this is the sort of antics you will find on the EE -E stream. This is the worst Mafia game I've ever seen. The worst Mafia game in recorded human history, I believe. Sincerely. It was so fucking bad. An hour and 47 minutes of feature-length film. It should have been 20 minutes. So they're like, Coney, do you want to play? I said, no. Too many people. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to watch. So I start watching. There I am in the back. And then at some point... At some point, Goblin over here, who was the cop, reveals, Hey, all these people are safe. Don't worry. I'm probably going to die tomorrow. Use this information and we'll win. And, and it's not a bad play. It's not a great play, right? But at least it's like, okay, you can, you can cross some people off. Eventually, somebody says, Luis is sus. Because Luis isn't saying anything. Luis, as you will notice, is Mafia. Somebody says they think it's Luis. And immediately, who comes to save him? But this fucking guy. Because you claim investigator, right? Now, I had a feeling you tried to bait out investigator. So, I'm the investigator. <laughs> this is the dumbest play in human history. This is the worst fucking thing you could do. I can't think of an analogy to properly... Here's a little baseball for you. It's like being down a run, bottom of the ninth, there are two people on bags, and you bunt. I just... do. It, it doesn't make sense. Goblin has said that he's cop many turns ago. DeBuzz says he's cop. Everybody believes him. Why? Because he stood up, literally. They say he stood up and he had such conviction. So what you do in this situation, it's clear 50-50. Because the cop isn't going to stay alive very long. Even if you do believe DeBuzz, you kill him. And then DeBuzz, you get rid of soon. Shortly after. Once he gets a couple more reads, right? Somehow, DeBuzz reveals that he's cop. They kill Goblin. And DeBuzz stays alive for half a fucking hour. He's still here. This is me whispering to Mikey, the cheat the moderator of this game, that I want to fucking die. I want a pack of wild wolves to ass to just assault the studio right now. I wanted a beehive to drop in the center. Just, just get rid of everybody, man. Everybody in this room die, including me, okay? I can't live anymore. Somehow, despite this play, despite all the bullshit, the worst game I've ever seen. There's even a point in the game where Tweak looks at me. He's like, Coney, tell me, what, what, what should I do? Am I being stupid? And I wanted so badly to tell him something. I wanted to mouth something to him, but I was wearing a mask. And I'm glad that it's the only Mafia game we had. 
It was so bad. Uh, the other thing. Did you guys see Squid Game? It's supposed to be a game against a man dressed up in a squid suit. And the goal is to defeat the squid. Now, the squid does have some advantages. As you can see, the squid starts the game at zero. You start the game at 150%. The problem is the squid is playing Inkling. It is on a shitty stage, and the squid has never played Ultimate in his life. This went about as well as you thought it would. Chag starts the game at 150. <laughs> yeah, Squid Game yeah. is the name of the show. Oh, so. no. Oh, my oh, God. This is... Oh, no! 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 So, the squid is defeated instantly. This is the first game. Look at this shot. It's off to face the squid. Of all of the players going upstairs to fight the squid. Look at this. This is a veritable army of the best players in the world. All marching upstairs to battle. Each and every one of them a star in their own right. And Chag defeats the squid instantly. Also, he won $200 for this. Who is the squid, someone asked. Well, here's the big reveal. We thought it might be Wizrobe. We thought it might be IBDW. We thought it might be a few people. And then the squid comes downstairs. And who could it be? Oh my god, who is this? Uh -oh. It wasn't a squid at all. That wasn't it's a squid, squid at all. Is that That's IBDW? Waiting. Who is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is Squid. Squid is a top 50 melee player. <laughs> uh, squid was the Squid. He was a nice guy. We talked after. He said that he was warming up up in the room for an hour fighting CPUs, and he didn't beat any of them. Uh, also, playing Inkling is a bad idea. Inkling is hard. Uh, like, even if your opponent's at 150, how the fuck do you get this kill? How do you get this kill on this stage against a top player? Back throw? Uh, yeah, but he would have to know back throw kills. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about math. We had something called the Coinbase Wheel of Bullshit. The idea is there is a wheel, and it has any number of things on it. Make Coney laugh, temperature check, vision test, geography test, flat earth debate, spelling bee, doubles. At one point, it lands on math. And we give the Smasher some dry erase boards. It's elegant and base mage. And we say, okay, you have to solve an equation. I want you guys to see this as it happened. The first person wait, wait. to throw up the correct answer wins, okay? 18 times 12, go. Oh, 36. Oh, my times lord. 12. Oh, my bad, my bad. I don't even know how he got that. Wow. <laughs> oh, my fucking god. I have no fucking clue how he came to that conclusion. No. No. no, show me the no. number. No, no. no. Are you guys serious? Times twelve. One you, eight you times multiply twelve. Multiply and then you skip the thing and. Yeah. Just... Uh, this goes on for five minutes. It feels like an eternity. Nobody got it, by the way. I thought this was a bit. No, I could not believe my eyes. I thought it was a bit, but not both of them could be doing bits. Then he did this. I don't know what's on this paper. I, I, don't, okay. I don't know. Answer solved 1,123 times 3,476 in 10 seconds in his head at Summit 7 I, I saw. I saw. This is the difference between melee players and ultimate players. This is a melee player. Literally within 10 seconds. I legitimately felt embarrassed. I, I cannot believe that this happened and it was allowed to air on television. But at least there was some other good stuff. My favorite was the temperature check. The goal of this is they're going to take your temperature in 10 seconds. So you have to make your body temperature as hot as possible in 10 seconds. You'll never believe what happens next. Go! 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 go, 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 go. Oh, he's blank. planking. I like he's that. Right, so he's planking. No, he's he's, he's rubbing his head. His forehead. Wow. He's rubbing his forehead. Blue Tony looks like an NPC that glitched. <laughs> yeah. He's my gonna sim. look terrible wow. on camera what tomorrow, the, but he's double, trying to win. The what double. the fuck, my sim doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we banned planking back at home. Oh my god. Here we are. What the fuck is Blue Tony doing? <laughs> it's like when your sim eats hot curry. It <laughs> just starts doing this for 30 seconds. Did it actually work? Yes. At the same time, his uh, temperature's going, going to go here? down while Cat is checking it. Look oh, at this. Oh, wait a minute. 98.4 for Bluto. Okay. He won, but I want you guys to know 
98.4, still below human, normal human temperature, which is 98.6. Did anything else happen on Wheel of Bullshit? Oh, my favorite play. One was Mini Smash. Mini Flower Rocket Belt Reflect Light Slow Smash. The All DK right. is on the- oh they're so small! God. Oh my oh god! The greatest they're so small! Hey, Pikmin! Which they're side like, Pikmin? Wow, they are Pikmin! So I love cute. this. Okay, step up. Okay, I want a whole tournament of this. Bear. This is just sudden death, but yeah. slower. He's chasing. Yo, the <laughs> chase! Take the to chase. the skies! Oh, 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 shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That sounds like I'm fake laughing. I swear to God, I'm not. That was the funniest was fucking so thing good. I've ever yeah, seen. You guys sick. ever see the Iron Giant? Yes. <laughs> Superman. They need me. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking died. I was fucking dead. I could not believe this. <laughs> Take to the skies. Oh, we are who we choose to be. <laughs> you stay. I go. Oh, Superman. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we landed a plane. This might be the best Summit side event in history. Imagine, if you will, three of these TVs, like, back to back. They had a huge setup, and it was Microsoft Flight Simulator with, like, the, the gears and everything, like, the actual thing. And, uh, nobody did it. We, it was supposed to be, you know, like a bracket to see who could land the best. Nobody landed. Literally, nobody got it right. Oh my god! He started doing tricks and shit. He forgot to put this blue throttle up. The blue throttle is gas. He just turned off the engine. Nobody did it. Uh, except for me and EE the next day. We did land the plane. Here's me flying, okay? Watch this. Captain Coney takes to the skies. The runway's right there. Watch this. Watch this landing. Watch this fucking pristine landing. Watch this. Watch this. You pull this down. This is so easy. Immaculate. Wait, it's going down. Wait, wait, wait. We're safe. There. Now this. <laughs> I don't know when they implemented this feature. When you don't land on the runway, it says that you failed, even though I literally didn't. Everyone got off the plane safe and happy, and at their final destination. Maybe they got a little sick from the bounce, some vom. But that's why we give you the bags. I don't care if I was on the grass. The grass is softer. It's better to land on the grass. Oh, this is so dumb. Safe. So dumb. Everybody safe. is dead. No, <laughs> you killed him. They said everybody on the plane is dead. I, oh, then I was traveling corpses the whole time. Now let's talk about this bullshit. The worst event in Summit history. So instead of a commentator crew battle or a commentator tournament or a bracket or anything, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have all the commentators play against Leo. All the commentators get three stocks, so we have 18. Leo gets six, so two full, you know, two full things. All the commentators have to do is take one stock each. So if one of us takes two, golden. All of us think it's going to be mad simple. EE -E is especially confident. Charles is mortified. Charles is scared to death. Charles is acting like we are sending him to the gulag. He's like, no, you don't understand. Because we're debating in the back. We're like, dude, six is fine. Maybe we should give him nine. Nine stocks sounds better. The problem is, uh, it didn't quite go that way. Charles got the final destination <laughs> premonition. Yeah, Charles definitely, like, he saw the future. You could go into his eyes like, that's so Raven. And he saw what would occur. And the answer is, uh, tragedy. EE -E goes first. And we, we put EE -E up there first. Because EE -E, uh, plays Lucario. 
So we are currently uh, not on Goodbye. the base. EE e. does. Yeah, EE e. does. 21%. Do you know where the damage came? Oh, Phil, please get one hit, then. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. There. A landing down air. That's his one hit. Uh, then I go up there, and I tell him I want to shield grab him, because everybody, like, everybody just lets Leo do whatever they want, right? Leo jumps around you, everybody stays shielding. I'm like, I'm going to shield grab him. And I did, several times. Now, I do pretty good at the start, you know, 56, I die at like 120, right? And then Leo pulls out this cheesy bullshit. 10 video out of this, so I think yeah. Zach, oh, Zach is Lord. winning either way. What the fuck? A shield breaker? In a for fun event? You fucking try hard. Everybody knows you're the best. What kind of sweat bag thing is this? Embarrassing, dude. Honestly, this says way more about him than it does about me. Kona, you sound like you're going to cry. No, I'm all cried out. I have no more tears. <laughs> then Charles gets three star. Charles does 73. 81? Not as much as me. Who cares? TK comes up. TK does 89? Oh, he got his shield broken too. Not as much as me. And then Bam comes up. And Bam does the unthinkable. Top five Smash Bros moments. So yes, an apt comparison. <gasps> Oh, okay. he's jumpless, he's jumpless. Don't do it. Don't go out there. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Beautiful. For the people! Unbelievable. Bam is our king. Bam is king of the commentators. Went all the way out there. Don't care if he died. At least somebody did it. Because they informed us right before this, if nobody takes a stock, we're going to keep going until someone does. We would have had to make him jump off the stage. Please, Leo. I'm so tired. When I played Leo, I felt hopeless. <laughs> Literally, anything I tried to do was calculated three moves in advance. I've never felt like that. Oh, dude, this amiibo doubles. We thought more people would care about the DK. Alpharad got a bunch of amiibos and trained all of them to have a gimmick or something silly. There was a DK. And the whole point is like, oh, people are going to think that's hard DK, right? It was like famous. You know, he's a very strong amiibo. It wasn't hard DK. The DK was awful. What was the prize for the amiibo a bracket? Dude, literally, Alpharad is fucking loaded. Uh, Mars ended up winning. And he was like, was there money on this? And Alpharad was like, I don't know. There could be. You want $1,000? He was like, yeah. That's it. There's $1,000. That's how these people live their lives. That's what California does to people. Living in LA. It's decadence. It's the Western civilization. You could just do that. $1,000, please. <laughs> I gotta move to California, bro. At one point, so I make a lot of metaphors on commentary. I talk about the game as it is and how I see it. And I try to make, you know, comparisons. And Parappa, friend of the stream, I thought, Parappa says Cody makes the weirdest metaphors. This guy just said Roy is a Rorschach test. What does that even mean? I'll tell you what that means, Parappa. Look at Roy. Roy is everything to everyone. He's a hype beast, a mash lord, a ghostbuster, caveman. Roy is literally, this game, he is whatever you want him to be. How do you not understand that analogy? It, he could either be a masher, or he could be, you know, the most hype character in the game. Then, he gets all this. Base mage is a cactar. Yes! You see that motherfucker once a tournament and never again, and you don't plan on running into it. And when you do, you get Thousand Needle. Oh, Literally true. When you come to Summit, you know the Cactar is in your packet. So the fact that he got 7th is a crime, by the way. That's how you know Smashers never did their homework. A Jigglypuff got 7th at Summit? Absurd. The Cat's character pool is, I got fries and broccoli but need a burger or steak. What's confusing about that? Nakat has two characters that don't really work for him. It's not Nakat's fault. I mean, like, obviously, Pichu and Sora are okay, but they're not great. That makes sense, right? I need an entree. Play Joker or something. Which one is the fries? Pichu is fries. And Sora is broccoli because he's cringe. <laughs> it hurt me to say that because I love broccoli, but, you know. 
if this is going on YouTube. There's a lot of eight-year-olds in the comments. Hey, comment below how much you hate broccoli. Tell me the worst thing your mom made you do for your $5 allowance. Ooh, I hate parents. They just don't understand, do they? In a bracket of Luigi's and Wario's, Lucina is like a shot of ginger. This is the best- Dude, this is fucking poetry. What are you talking about? How do you not understand this? I genuinely think Smashers just have no... They have no life experience. Ginger is a palate cleanser. You take it in between bites of more... Uh, of, of more extreme food. He compared Mario to a dog pissing on the carpet. I did. I did do that. It may be kind of sad. Because Mario, like, gets fucked up a lot. Mario gets put in the corner. He gets boxed out. He gets destroyed. And you feel bad for him. Because he never gets any hits. You're like, oh, dude, what is Mario supposed to do? This sword is in the way. And and you're, it, it, he can't get through the disjoints. And there's waft. And there's all these combos. What is Mario supposed to do? And then he up air, up air, up air, forward airs you and you die at 40, right? And I got the same vibes that I got when I was crate training a puppy. Because you put the puppy in the crate. And you're like, oh, man, I don't want to do this. He's so cute. He just wants to hang out. He's so sweet. Look at him. He didn't do anything wrong. And then you take the puppy out of the crate and it pisses on the carpet. And you're like, son of a bitch! Why'd I let him out of the crate? Why did I give Mario Yoshis? Why did I let him off the ledge? And then you put them back in the crate and you start beating up Mario again. So that's Summit. There will be more videos about Summit in the future. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, keep your eyes peeled. Let's see a board game tournament soon. It's going to be a good movie. And if you miss it, I'll be sad because it's going to take a lot of work. <laughs> Don't miss it. All right, but let's do I wasn't going to do it, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Say bye, YouTube. Say goodbye. Come on. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.